What's going on folks? Blake from New Vision Security Services. And today I want to read something to you. The truth for today. And I started reading this and immediately uh, something my spirit was talking and said someone needs to hear this. So I immediately stopped what I was doing, rotated the phone, and set up to record this uh, because someone needs to hear this, especially with going into a new year and people do these New Year's resolutions. Um, they're going to make a change. They're going to do this or that for the new year. But tomorrow is never promised. All of us have an expiration date. Um, and for some reason, people get to planning out the next year and they don't even know if they're going to wake up tomorrow. So today is what really matters. Next year, you can do all the planning you want for next week, next month, next year. But there is no guarantee that you are going to make it. And... A lot of people in society think that they have all of this time to plan and do these things and these resolutions and all this stuff, but you have to act today. You have to make a change today because if you are a believer, you are trying to make it to heaven. And you know, because he tells us in the scriptures that tomorrow is not promised to us. So change has to be every day that you are blessed with so let me read this and release it to who needs to hear it and then we can enjoy another blessed day when we keep the mitzvah the reminders of Yahweh our obedience in the physical has profound impact upon the spiritual our submission to Yahweh's word sends ripple effects within our souls and puts into motion the divine will of Elohim. The Talmud teaches that these living emblems are the insignia of a believer. Whosoever has the tefillin on his head, the tefillin on his arm, the tzitzit on his garment, and the mezuzah on his doorpost is secure against the commission of sin beloved is Israel for the Holy One blessed be he surrounded it with mitzvah Menashat 43b what we do in the natural realm is a direct reflection of our spiritual walk and beliefs remember you cannot serve two masters there are a lot of believers right that know the power of our Savior and of the Father. He may have saved them from um, self-destruction, um, financial, you know, losses and, and all of these things, um, or save someone they know. So they know what he can do and his love for them. And consciously, at times they make decisions to please the world and not please him even though they know what he's done for them as we have reminders of Yahweh's present presence around our daily activities we live in constant awareness of the Almighty and our mind will rest in him you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Trust in Yahweh forever, for Yahweh the Master is the rock eternal. Yeshayahu Isaiah chapter 26 verses 3 and 4. Which commandments are you hesitant to keep and why? What can you do today to follow Yahweh's word better? Obedience to the Torah must flow from a heart of love. Our actions should reflect our gratitude and appreciation for all that Yahweh has done for us in this life 
and in the world to come. We obey in view of Yahweh's mercy. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 to 2 say that in view of Yahweh's mercies, we ought to offer our lives a living sacrifice and be transformed by the renewing of our minds. We don't obey to get his mercy. We follow his word in consideration of all that he has done for us. Your obedience today can change the future of generations to come. Will you make a stand for righteousness? And that's it. I was my spirit was moved to read to read that today. Someone needed to hear that. Um the ways of the world are wicked. And trying to follow the Father and conform to the world, you have to make a decision. You can't do both and be obedient. In trying to do both, you're being disobedient because the world is against the scriptures. Um, he tells us that for parents, um, if, as a parent, if you cause your child or children to stray or to not live a righteous life, he holds you personally responsible for that. Meaning that if you know that your child or children are living wrong or living against the scriptures, our Savior's guidance for our lives, as a parent, he holds you personally responsible for them not being in his word. So just remember that if your child or the children are doing something wrong or you know that is a, a sin and you are okay with it, and I get it, you're a parent, you love your child, you, you want to support your child. But if your child or children are doing something that is a sin or against our Savior, as a parent, he holds you responsible. I don't, someone needed to know that. They might be having a struggle right now with the scriptures and our Savior and our Father's will versus they don't want to lose the love of their child. You're not going to lose the love of your child. Your child is just has become of the world and you have to stand for what you know. If you're a believer, you have to stand for what you know is right. And the scriptures tell you what's right. As always, I want you to know that you are blessed and I pray that you've had a blessed day, week, month, year. And know that our Savior loves you. And he's waiting to sit down with you. And for you to reestablish your individual relationship with him. Take care. Stay safe. Know that you're blessed. And I'll see you at the next one.